Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the basics of computer vision, how does it work and what are the industry the computer vision is helping. So what is a computer vision? A computer vision is a field in artificial intelligence that trains computer to understand the visual world. So basically computer vision is the process of understanding images and videos using computers. The computer vision has few steps internally. For example, initially it has to capture the digital images and then it has to process and analyze the data. And finally, it can use this data to make some decisions. A simple flow would be there will be digital images and inside the computer there will be millions of digital images in binary format. So using this input, it's going to compare and then it will be taking a decision. And this computer vision is used in many industries. Let's see some examples. Let's see how the computer vision works internally. For example, I have an apple and I'm going to ask a small baby, a one year baby. I'm going to show this apple and ask, hey, can you tell me what is this? So the baby is going to look at this apple and he might say, ah, oh, this might be the response I might get from the baby because the baby can see the apple, but in his brain, he does not have any information. He has not learned it. That's why I'm getting an output uh, O. It's not exactly Apple. So the challenge here is the baby can see the Apple, but he does not have more information to process and give me an exact answer. So I would say the baby is in the learning stage now. So next I'm going to ask a three year girl who has seen the Apple multiple times. Maybe her parents would have taught her what exactly Apple and how does it look like. So I'm going to ask this three year old girl and she's going to say apple so how does it work i showed the apple and she was using her eyes to capture the image and in her brain she already learned how the apple looks like and she recognized it and said apple so there are three steps involved she looked at the apple recognized it compared the images in her brain and then said the output apple and the next i'm going to ask a teenage boy showing this apple could you please tell me what is this and he will say within few seconds it's an apple because he has seen this apple multiple times and he has learned a lot about it. He might also share some additional information like eating an apple is healthy and he can give more information. Next I'm going to ask a woman showing this apple, could you please tell me what is this? And, and she's going to share a lot of information about apple. Even if I change the color to green or different varieties of apple, still she can answer because she learned a lot about apple and she knows how does it look like and what are its benefits. So what are the difference between these three people and the baby. Baby can see the object, baby has not let learned. So that's why we are not able to get the proper output but from others we are able to get the proper output. Let's compare this scenario with the program. For example, I've written a small computer vision program which does not have much information. It is connected to a camera. So I'm going to show this Apple picture to this camera and I'm going to ask the output and it says not able to identify the fruit because the camera can see the Apple image but there is not much information inside this program to process and give me a proper output. So in the next stage what I've done is I've given more images to this computer program. It has stored multiple Apple images as a binary format in its database and when I show now an Apple image to this program it's going to capture the image and it's going to compare the images that it has and when I ask for the output it's going to give me Apple as the output. In the next stage I've enhanced this program. I've given more images for learning which is called as deep learning. It has more binary data. Even if you change the angle of the Apple it can identify it's an Apple and if even if you show a green Apple it can find out because I have placed more data about Apple inside this program which is called as deep learning. So to this program I'm going to show this apple and ask the output. It's going to compare with millions of images and it's going to say it's a red apple. And if I change the image to a green apple it's going to again compare with lot of images and it's going to say green apple. So this is how we can make a computer program understand the visual images. Now let's see how the computer vision is helpful in different types of industries. First manufacturing. So in manufacturing the robots has to look at the metal parts and identify it and hold them appropriately and move the manufacturing parts to perform some operation. So this is how it helps in manufacturing industry. And the next growing industry is self-driving car. So in the self-driving car there will be a lot of cameras attached. So the camera will be keep on capturing the objects in the road and it has to understand the objects on the way and take decisions whether to go straight or 
move right or left or slow down. In medical industry, it can be applied in multiple ways. One of them is automating the diagnosis of diseases in eye. The next industry is sports industry. The computer vision is helping the coaches to track the player's position in order to increase the team performance. The next industry is agriculture. Here in this example, there is a vehicle which is having an attached camera which can identify this object which is an apple. So it has to identify which fruit is ready for the market and it has to plug them. So this is one of the example of applying computer vision in agriculture. And finally, the computer vision is going to help fintech industry for identity management. For example, they want to verify your passport remotely. You can show the passport and it will be captured and try to process it. There are multiple ways computer vision is going to help for identity management in fintech industry. Hi friends, hope this small information about computer vision is helpful. All the best for your career. Thank you. Thank you.